Hey guys, what is going on? Landon here, and have you been sitting there, chilling, thinking about what to do next, and suddenly, boom, it hits you. You've discovered this amazing career, medical assistant, and you are thinking, hey, this sounds like an exciting career. I get to work in healthcare, helping patients, and I can close up to 40 grand a year. Wait, wait, but what skills do I need to work as a medical assistant? What are the things that are expected of me? If I'm a beginner with no experience in healthcare, is it gonna be hard for me to acquire these skills and become a medical assistant? Huh, there's so many questions, so many questions. Hey, breathe, sit down and relax because you are about to get all of your answers today. In this video, I'll talk about the top seven skills you need as a medical assistant and the fastest way to learn about medical assisting. Now, if you are new to the channel, this is Certified Success. And here we share tips and tricks for busy adults to start their dream careers faster without student debt or spending years in the classroom. As a medical assistant, you will be responsible for handling and performing both clinical and administrative tasks. This means you'll need both clinical and administrative skills. Let's talk about the top clinical skills you need as a medical assistant. Number one, vital sign measurement. Whenever a patient visits a physician, a medical assistant can be tasked to take their vital signs. This includes recording body temperature, pulse rate, blood pressure, respiration rate, and blood oxygen level. Taking and recording vital signs accurately counts as a core skill for medical assistants. Your job is to make things easier for the physician. So before a patient sees the physician, you take their vital signs, which ultimately speeds up the examination process. Number two, CPR. In a healthcare facility, you need to be prepared for emergencies. As a medical assistant, you are expected to be able to respond should a medical emergency occur, such as when a person's heart stops beating. Performing CPR is another clinical skill you are expected to have. Number three, medical terminology. You will be working and communicating with doctors, physicians, and nurses. You will need to be well-versed in the medical lingo. You need to have an understanding of medical terminology, anatomy, and knowledge of clinical procedures. This way you can not only assist the physician, but effectively communicate with other members of the team. Now, you might be thinking, what is the best way to acquire these clinical skills? Do you go for on the job training or do you go to school? Well, you can learn the clinical duties and get job ready as a medical assistant in as little as six months. Yes, you heard me, six months. We have prepared a free medical assistant masterclass where Nancy Vang and Grant Aldridge give you a step-by-step -step blueprint on how to become a medical assistant without spending thousands of dollars on education and driving to class every day. If you wanna start your career faster, get certified as a medical assistant and learn the right medical assistant skills, you should sign up for our free masterclass. To sign up, click the link below the like button or go to medicalassistantmasterclass.com. Moving on, as I said, apart from performing clinical duties, you could also be asked to perform administrative tasks. Here are a few skills that you are required to have. Skill number four, scheduling and appointment setting. As a medical assistant, you are expected to help ensure the operations run smoothly. A big part of that is managing the patient inflow. This involves setting appointments based on physician's availability, setting up follow appointments, and accommodating emergencies. You need the skills to be able to do that consistently. Now, having said that, when you start working as an entry-level medical assistant and you're more comfortable with clinical tasks, the healthcare facilities could consider that and ease you into the administrative role. However, if you are applying for the role of administrative medical assistant, scheduling and setting appointments would be one of the core skills you are required to have. Number five, computer literacy. This is the digital age. And even in healthcare, a lot of things are digitized, including health records. Not just that, the different processes like scheduling tests, communicating with specialists, filing insurance claims, and pretty much all other aspects of operating a clinic are all digitized. And because of that, medical assistants are expected to be comfortable working on computers, tablets, and other devices. Number six, multitasking and organization. Now we are moving into interpersonal skills now. In any healthcare facility, things can get hectic. The patient inflow on a given day can be higher than expected, or an unexpected emergency might come up. To handle all of this, you need to be A, 
good at multitasking. You gotta be able to juggle multiple patients in administrative and clinical tasks. Doing this successfully requires the ability to multitask both physically and mentally. And B, good at organization, unlike me. It is essential to be systematic with things. As I said, you are juggling multiple tasks and you should have the ability to arrange things based on priority, function, and need. Now, you might be thinking, Landon, how will I be able to handle all of this and so much? Well, hey, look, there is nothing to worry about. You'll get better at all of this as you gain more experience. This video is just to educate you on the skills that medical assistants are expected to have. Plus, you can mention some of these skills on your resume. So if you feel like you are the opposite of me and you're good at organization, add that to your resume. <laughs> Finally, number seven, and this is a big one, empathy. Beyond the hustle and bustle, at the end of the day, you are helping patients. Patients and their families are usually nervous and worried, and they are looking for an empathetic ear to understand their concerns. As a medical assistant, you have to be the bridge between the patient and the physician. Empathy can help you be a more effective medical assistant, and you should have the ability to see situations through the patient's point of view, build a level of trust with them, calm their nerves if necessary, and help them open up about their experiences. This is a critical skill to have. So there you have it. These are the top seven skills you should have as a medical assistant. If you are serious about starting your career as a medical assistant and wanna enroll in the right training program, then I highly, highly recommend signing up for our free medical assistant masterclass. Grant and Nancy will give you a roadmap for getting job ready in the next few months without student loan debt or driving in traffic to college. To sign up, click the link below or go to medicalassistantmasterclass.com. Now, if you have any questions, please let us know down in the comments section below and I will make sure that we get back to you. And if you are already working as a medical assistant, share the number one skill that you feel every medical assistant should possess. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, this was Landon, signing off. Take care.